Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. In America these days, it's very hard to find bulk ammo. And once you do find it, you're going to be paying a lot of money for it. And here lately, you're seeing a lot of this. Not necessarily this kind of ammo. This is the Norma USA TAC-22 ammunition. But you're seeing a lot of target ammo, and you're seeing a lot of match ammo. Now there is a difference between bulk, target, and match ammo. This would be considered target ammo, okay? Match being the most expensive, target being the middle line plinking ammo. Of course, of course bulk ammo, some of my favorite. It's just good ammo just to shoot and everything. It's not gonna be as accurate as say, uh, this target ammo or match ammo, but since you, know, you can get this stuff in a lot of different places, you can see it online everywhere, you can also see it in your local gun shop. And this box right here, it costs about $6.50 for 50 rounds. Well, it's actually designed to fire out of the AR-1522 platform, okay? Any of your AR-22 platforms, such as your Mossbergs and your Colts, and this Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, it's designed to do that. Um, these bullets are lubricated with an oil, okay? A lot of your match and your target ammunition is lubricated with an oil or a wax substance. This has actually got an oily substance on it, so they put that on there to ensure reliability in feeding. It does fire at about 1,100 feet per second, and that's a key number when firing a 22 uh, long rifle, especially a 40 grain bullet out of a rifle. Um, you know, that speed in between 1,050 and 1,100, that's standard velocity, and usually that ammo shoots pretty good. Now I'm gonna be shooting it out of this Smith & Wesson 1522. I've got a target set up here about 50 yards, and I'm just gonna see what kind of groups I can get out of it, and uh, see if I have any failure to feeds or any misfires or anything out of this ammo. So anyways, let me change the, uh, the camera around a little bit, and let me shoot some five shot groups with this. All right, I have two targets down there, one on the left, one on the right. Now I'm gonna be putting the crosshairs on the bullseye, that orange dot. Now this ammunition is not sighted in for this rifle. I'm just looking for groups here. Again, this is at 50 yards, so here we go. Not too bad. I've shot bulk ammo out of this rifle and that shoots a lot better than bulk ammo. All right, anytime I see a lead 40 grain bullet firing in that sweet spot between 1,000 feet per second and 1,100 feet per second, I've got to try it in my CZ. Now this is an upper end 22, so these rifles are known to be very accurate. Now the target on the right, I'm gonna see what I can do with the five shot group out of this ammo. So here we go. Yes, I think that was the same hole. Yes, I'll take that group any day of the week. Out of a good bolt gun, <laughs> this ammo will drive tax. All right, my final conclusions on this Norma USA ammo. You know what? I'm pretty impressed with it. For $6.50 a box, you know, I've spent sometimes $15, $20 a box on match ammo, firing it out of that CZ 452 Ultralux, and it won't do this. That's about a three quarter inch group. 
So pretty good at 50 yards. Now on the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, you know, your group looks like this. That's probably, you know, about an inch and a quarter. So it's not really that bad. It fires a lot better than your bulk ammo out of that particular Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. I think it's a good deal. I think it's a really good deal for $6.50. You can't go wrong with a box of this ammo. You guys, if you have any questions, you can go over to my Facebook page and ask me there, or you can put them down here in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all be safe and keep blinking.